and welcome back to Scatterbrook Farm. My name is Eddie and this is my vlog. And as you can hear, we have just filled up the combine with some fuel. Uh, it was about half full, um, but uh, yeah, we needed we needed to get it going. Uh, today is August the 28th. Uh, we It's the day after our... Uh, we started the harvest. Um, it's uh, it's early afternoon. We've actually been waiting a little while for the uh, crop to dry. We had a pretty heavy dew last night, and uh, and as a result, I'm sorry, we had a pretty heavy dew last night. Pretty overcast day today, uh, and as a result, it has been. Um, slow to dry out that's not too bad though because the only crop we have ready is our second field of barley so we are going to take our combine up uh, there and get it done uh we've got our tractor and trailer up there already and uh, i left the header up there because there was no point in bringing that all the way back to the farm uh, we kind of wanted to get this going. Uh, our uh, headland, uh, well, you can see the field that we did yesterday. That is all nicely done here. Uh, our canola is looking good, uh, as are our other crops. Um, I think we'll be harvesting those within a week. Um, fortunately, they're not quite ready yet. I think that it's going to be early September before we, uh, before we crack on with that. But uh, that is going to give us enough time to get to work on our... Um, on our other stuff. Let's hook up this. There we go. And we'll hook up our PTO and everything. That is all good. Right. Open up our harvester. Let's lift this up so we're not immediately harvesting grass. Turn on our thresher. And she's looking good. Yep. Uh, we're not. We're not going to... Uh, we're going to drop straw on this. And let's uh, let's crack into our field. Very, very nice. Uh, easy switch. Um, so we've we've had a pretty good yield off the barley so far in here. This is our second field of barley on the farm next to the one that we did uh, yesterday. And uh, and it's just, yeah, it's it's doing well. We're getting a, a good yield. I'm expecting... I'm expecting maybe a trailer full off here. We can get, uh, we can get uh, four tanks off this combine into our trailer. It's quite a big trailer that we've got here, um, and the reason for doing that uh, is twofold. One, we can uh, convert that into a silage trailer. So should our neighbours turn around and go, "Hey, we need you to do some carting for us uh, during our silage," uh, we are able to go, "Yeah, sure, we'll put the silage uh, sides on our trailer and uh, and." head up there and do that uh, and the second reason uh is because it's just me so uh, i am the only one who is uh, uh who's working the farm at the moment it's uh after last year us finding uh, that we needed to save costs a little bit and uh and and i started to take it on myself which is fine um as i said before my brother is currently uh running uh Ball and craig so uh, that's all good. And he sort of tells me what's going on. He's, he's doing the same. He's basically running it on his own there. And uh, and yeah, we're, we're doing well. We are... Uh, we're, we're just trying to find ways, though, to uh, improve uh, the efficiency of everything. And, and that means uh, that basically, uh, if I have a trailer that is big enough to take four loads off here and... My field does about four loads. Um, the wheat and the barley, in fact, there we go, 50%. Uh, it does about four loads off uh, off one of these, especially when we've left a few weeds in it like this. Uh, then, uh, you know, it's pretty good. It means that I don't have to keep traipsing back to the farm all the time. I can just uh, keep an eye with my combine and uh, keep going round and, uh, and, and keep moving. And, uh, you know, minimal time out of the cab to go and get the tractor. And, uh, and in fact, the best way for me to do it is probably uh, how I'm about to. Uh, if we position our tractor and trailer up this top end and empty every time that we uh, finish headland, uh, we are going to be, uh, we're, we're going to be traveling the shortest distance on foot. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to, because we want to turn around for our next headland here anyway there we go 
And we might as well. We can head down into the headlands here like this. But what I'm going to do is just drop down here. All right. I'm just going to put the... Oh. Yeah, it was wanting to roll downhill a bit. So I'm going to put the handbrake on while I do this. And we're just going to pop over here and grab the tractor. Because if I put this in the right place on the field, uh, what will happen is we can come back the next run and, uh, and just empty into this trailer. So bring this in here. Like so. There we go. Right, and out with our auger. And that just means that we can empty into our tractor and trailer as we go around the field each time. Doesn't take long to empty this tank because obviously it's not a very big tank. Uh, and we, uh, yeah, there we go. We are empty. Perfect. So let's off our handbrake, bring our auger in. And so, yeah, we'll just empty as we come around the field each time. And that means uh, that doing the headlands, at least, uh, we're never stopping. We're just, we're always in the combine. We're always going the smallest distance we, uh, we have to uh, in order to empty it. When we get into the centre of the field, it's a little bit different. Uh, we end up uh, having to travel that little bit further. But... Uh, you know, we're going to do four headlands and that will uh, that will work fairly well for us. And as I was saying, uh, we need to do four headlands on here uh, because this isn't the largest header in the world. And, uh, you know, it's not a huge combine for this farm. Well, it's a, it's a good size combine for this farm. It's it's just not a huge combine in general. I wouldn't like to, to try this on some of the... Uh, big industrial farms that are out there uh, because yeah you would be forever in a little combine uh, like this uh, but it has worked well uh, and it's uh, it's doing a great job for us on here it is being a little bit thirsty on the old fuel today uh, i'm hoping that that's not too much of a problem that we're going to be having with this I mean, we've, we're on to our second headland, and we've we've used almost a quarter of a tank already. So this this might be a thirsty little combine, um, but if it does the job, that's great. If we, if it does turn out that uh, that this is a this combine needs to be um, needs to to have a little bit of a uh, fuel supply on hand, then we will have to go and grab ourselves a small fuel tank. Uh, I'm sure we can uh, we can get one from the shop. They won't be uh, too difficult. Uh, to grab hold of uh, but you can see we're, get, we're getting about 60 to 70 percent full as we go round uh, the field each time here so we'd only we'd get about halfway round our uh, our headland before we ended up having to empty uh, and so that would be running halfway across the field uh, we would end up then losing time doing this harvest because we'd, we'd have to go and get that and uh, and yeah so it's the whole thing here is all about trying to minimize the uh the amount of time it takes to do things so we'll come out of here finish off this headland and then just back up and get our auger out like so there we go get over the trailer a bit better before we unload there we are Woo. let's not get it over the cab and yeah that just uh, that just makes this a little bit easier for us as a result and uh, and yeah looking good lots of nice green something uh yeah sort of uh, appropriate for where we are All right, and back into the crop for our third headland. So, yeah, as I say, four headlands on here, and uh, and that will do us proud. Uh, we've got, um, uh, as I was saying earlier, it's it's been a little bit overcast today. Uh, we had, uh, we actually, it was one of those things. We had a fairly overcast day yesterday. The cloud cleared away as the sun was setting, and then we just, uh, just gave us this massively heavy dew overnight. And, uh, and woke up this morning and 
clouded over. Just completely clouded over. It's it's like it, it just funneled straight through the valley, and uh, and and it's just stuck around all day, uh, and it's so yeah, it just took forever for the cloud to clear. Um, but uh, you know, <laughs> these things happen sometimes. You uh, you sometimes you get a great runner today, and uh, and sometimes you don't. We do have plenty of time to harvest, and it is and it is going pretty well. So uh, I'm not I'm not too worried about this. Uh, we've got a few fields to get out. We're going to be doing our harvests for a little while, uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm pleased with it. It's uh, it's a good harvest. It's going well, and uh, and yeah, I'm very very happy. Now, off this field, as I say, off this field, I think we're going to get about four tanks worth. And if it works out like that, that will be uh, that will be absolutely cracking for us, uh, and uh, will make me really, really happy. We should uh, really pop out and and just check this combine. I want to I want to kick the straw a bit. I think. Let's just, um, just going to oh, pause this here. Just trying to see how much. Yeah, not seeing many grains on the ground. That's good. So it's, it, it, it's not, it's not too bad at all. Um, it's threshing pretty well. I'd expect it to, actually. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's threshing pretty well. And, um, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, we're, we're not losing a lot of grain out the back. Uh, we've hit half full again, so that's uh, we're well into our second tank off here now. Uh, so we're gonna get we're gonna get two and a half ish tanks, I think, off this headland, uh, which is uh, which is really good. I'm really satisfied with that. So up with this, out with our auger. Let's not hit the tractor. Right and get over the trailer and there we go. Release the grain. Perfect. Uh, and yeah, we're unloading fairly quickly because we are also um, uh, we're also not unloading a full tank each time. So it's just uh, you know from an efficiency point of view, this this just works really really well. Uh, and we'll take out our fourth headland and then we're going to cut into the field. So we will be about halfway through. Something, uh, <coughs> excuse me, something that does happen, of course, if you're not careful and uh, and having just got out of the combine. Oh, man, my throat is a little bit horrible after that. Lots of dust flying around at this time of year. Not good for you at all. There we go. Uh, so uh, yeah, having uh, having two full tanks, uh, what is um, sixteen? Uh, sorry, yeah, four. Uh, no, we actually we've probably got three full tanks. Looking at how much we've been getting off it, uh, so that's uh, that's over twelve uh, twelve hundred uh, twelve thousand liters. Sorry, off this field, which is absolutely brilliant. Our trailer holds about twenty, so we can get just uh, we can get about five tanks off this actually. Uh, into there should be absolutely plenty to do this and uh, and this is pretty much I think this is almost our biggest field pretty much so it works well for us we're able to uh, we should be able to get a good amount of uh, of uh, barley off here and because barley is a crop we don't actually need for feeding the pigs um, it also puts us in another good position because this this then is our biggest crop, and it's probably our cash crop for the year. I think uh, this will be uh, the stuff that we uh, use to make money for the farm next to the uh, next to the pigs. Uh, we run a. Uh, I think I mentioned this before on here. We run a uh, farrow to finish farm here. Uh, it is uh, so we are uh, fattening pigs up from piglets uh, through to selling them for meat. We sell them about six months oldish. Uh, we're we're looking to we're looking to get them to as close to two hundred and eighty pound as we can, um, and uh, and yeah, when we do that, they 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 reach a, the best price for us. 
and uh, and that's where we uh, sell them off at. Right there we go. So we'll empty this out again. I just want to pop into the tractor, see what our uh, we've got a nice fill level attached to the trailer, uh, which is quite a useful thing. It's this. Uh, it's a uh, basically it's a laser fill level. Um, oh, uh, I'm gonna keep the grain in the trailer. Uh, a laser fill level that we've got, uh, which is just, yeah, great. It's telling me we're 54%. We've got 10,000, 10, 11,000 litres in here. So a little bit under what I estimated. Right. Uh, works a little bit like uh, the fill level indicator we've got in here, which uh, which tells me as well. Always uh, useful to jump in there. So we've, we're about half full in our trailer. Um, absolutely expecting our field to um, uh, uh, basically, basically affecting, uh, expecting the entire field to sit in full fit in that trailer. Sorry, uh, as I said, fairly big trailer for what we're uh, what we have here, but that has happened and that has been done on purpose uh, in order for us to maximise uh, our efficiency around here. And you can see here we are. Making good headway. That's a good cut in that was. I'm happy with that. That will make it very, very easy for us to fill this. Uh, probably going to get the bottom third of the field out of this. Um, we will now go to a full tank. So the efficiency now in how we harvest, uh, that will be us uh, getting the full tank and, uh, and doing that that way. Put my map away. There we go. We're good. And uh, and working very nicely. I, I do like this combine. Even if, as I said, even if it is a gas guzzler, we are we're down to half a tank. I think it's going to use a tank of fuel doing this field. So, uh, yeah, it's not. I, I don't think it has the biggest of tanks on it, to be honest. Uh, in the first place. So it's not so much it's a gas guzzler as it doesn't have an awful lot of uh, tank capacity for fuel. Uh, and as a result, you, you end up refilling it a bit more than you otherwise would on a bigger combine. Which is quite a, a slightly uh, prefer perverse thing to think. But uh, yeah. Having said that, we are also uh, going to be a little while getting this... Um, Getting a full tank of uh, crop off here, a full tank of barley off here. It's uh, for some reason I always seem to do better headlands than I do uh, main bodies of the field. But maybe maybe that's just um, one of those things that uh, I I always think that I'm I'm doing better when actually I'm not. It's just there's more headland that I get done when you compare it to uh, the cutting. Still, I am not disappointed by this field at all. We are uh, we are getting a very nice crop through here. We're just going to finish off this little bit down here. That way, we can go and cut and uh, cut in up the. Oh, well, yeah, we can cut in further up. Uh, we are nowhere near a full tank, so uh, not too worried about that. Straighten us up. Yeah, there we are. Uh, I'm probably going to get the windrow out on this field. As you can see, uh, because this combine is not very wide, uh, our rows of uh, uh, our rows of straw are fairly close together. I want to try and um, reduce the amount that we have to to go with the tractor while we're doing this. Bring my map back up because I want my compass. And we're half full, finally. There we go. Get straight. It might be a little bit wiggly at the other end of the field there, I think. Judging by how my compass was moving all over the place. But I've put the map away now, because we've done our cutting. And, yeah. Down. And nice. 
So yeah, I think we might we might get a full tank off there. There you can see the smoke from the train in the distance there. Just at the top of the hill. That'll be nice when we're doing the canola. We'll probably get to see the train when we do the canola, I think. Uh, at the moment, it's just uh, just sort of trundling along. Yeah, we... Oh, wow. Wow, we were a little bit all over the place when we did that cut-in to start with. That's all right. We'll correct that fairly easily. As we go, that will uh, that will line out. As we go, otherwise, looking uh, looking nice and breezy, working well. We are. Uh, we're going to get this cut today. As I said earlier, our other crops aren't quite ripe yet. I think it's a week or so until that happens. Um, yeah, the uh, the light started flashing because obviously we've hit 80%. It's, uh, we, it's part of our fill level um, software that's on this combine. Now, automatically ooh, activates those lights. I'm actually going to turn them off because there's no one for us to signal to. It would just be me. I think we might empty when we get down the far end because we are going to be over 90% full. I don't think we can do... Well, we can't do um, uh, uh, a row and a return before we, uh, before we full. So I'm just going to get the auger out and, uh, and empty while we're at 93%. Uh, yeah, just under 4,000. And done. Quite nicely. There we go. And then once that's emptied, we will just reverse up. And back into the crop. Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm happy with this. This this combine is performing well. Um, you might have noticed we are going uh, across the field or across the hillside. So this field was very deliberately planted, so that we were going across the slope of the hillside, not uh, and having to go up and down it as minimally as possible. Uh, the reasoning for that is because we wanted to stress the combine as little as possible. Um, unlike our previous Fiat, this, of course, is not a self-leveling combine. Uh, so uh, going up and down the hill, it would have, uh, wouldn't have worked quite so well. Um, it is, uh, and you can see by the amount of fuel it's using as well, not a combine that would have been good going up and down the hill. It would have really taxed it to have, uh, to have harvest, harvested all this field straight up the hill. Um, as it is, I'm keeping a very close eye on the fuel level. I'm hoping I don't need to go back to the farm and refuel it. Because if I do, that again is going to take time out of my harvesting at the moment. But we do still have a significant part, uh, amount of this field left to harvest. And you can see how that, uh, that has now worked its way out. We've now got a nice straight edge. And, uh, and yeah, next time we cut in which will be our next row, uh, we just need to be that little bit more careful um, of exactly what angle we're cutting in at. Because uh, if we're not, uh, we get all wiggly like that. Uh, there we go. And out the other end. Looking very nice. We'll head up here and, as I said, compass straight on. We're going to go zero. There we are. Happy with that. So we'll leave the compass up for a minute. Just so that I can check if we're going the right way. I don't think I put GPS on this. I could be wrong. We might have GPS on this combine and I've completely forgotten. Um, but I, uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? I've just been fiddling around with my controls, and yes, I absolutely have GPS on this combine. Ah, oh, right, let's try it out, because I've not really used GPS before. So as I understand it, I want to line myself up here. 
Uh, then I want to set my GPS. And hopefully by the end of this line here, we'll have set a good uh, a GPS course for the combine. With any luck. So that should set it. Let's see if this works for our combine. Wow, I think it might have. Oh, it's snaking a little bit. And that's interesting. No, I don't like it. I need to uh, I need to play around with the GPS a bit more, I think. That is uh, that is not working as I'd expected. Yeah, we'll have a play around with the GPS. We do have it on here. It, was, it wasn't it was a feature that I was particularly after when I bought it. Um, this being a second-hand combine, it comes with it. So, uh, yeah. It's, um, it's an interesting thing. Right, we are in a position where I'm going to run out of fuel. Which is uh, massively annoying. So, what I'm going to have to do... Is uh, is we're gonna disc? Uh, we're gonna drop this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unhook everything. There we go. That is uh, that is something of annoyance. So I think we'll. Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, speak to the guys down at the uh, thing because having to drive this back to the yard every time I want to refill it uh, is uh, is a little bit annoying. To say the least, we want really to to be able to do more than uh, and, and do a, our largest field with this. So uh, yeah, it's not got the biggest of fuel tanks on it. I'm wondering if we can get it upgraded, or at, or at the very least get ourselves a fuel tank we can uh, refuel this combine at at the side of the field. Otherwise, we need to drive it back like this every time. Through the yard. Still got a lot of grass on the floor here. I have said, uh, I did say to you guys, I think what we're going to do is, uh, is I'm going to kill off most of this grass. Probably, uh, probably do, do some, um, do some concreting around the yard. Right, there we go. Turn this off. Right, and refill it. And wow, she's thirsty. She's absolutely thirsty. There we go. Not overly expensive to refuel, though, because yeah, as I said, not a big fuel tank on this combine. All right, out we go, back up to the field, and uh, and yeah, just a little. Uh, again, as, as I was saying before, this whole thing about being, um, uh, about being as uh, <laughs> saving as much time and everything as we can. The, the absolutely what we need to do that is to to get ourselves a fuel a little fuel tank for this. Just something that I can uh, I can refill it with. Because uh, otherwise, we just end up in this situation here where we have to drive it. We have to drop its header off, drive it all the way back down to the yard, get it refilled, drive it all the way back to the field. I mean, the fortunate thing is it's not a big combine, so uh, we can do that fairly easily. But still, you know, not something I want to have to keep doing. So we'll hook this up again. Uh, we'll hook all the uh, connectors up and everything. So, there we go. It actually has a pretty good mechanism on this, but I still have to, I still have to check that it's um, connected up properly. Yeah, we're all good. Turn her on, and away we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to have a play around with that GPS system a little bit more. I think. See, uh, see what I can get out of it. See, uh, see how I can, uh, see how it works. And, uh, and hopefully it will work uh, quite well for us. Eventually. Once I work out how to use it. 
Right, and in. I think we've I think we've cut in at a good point as well. My judgment on the cuttings today, I think, has been fairly good. Um, watch now, though, how when I do the next cut, I leave this tiny little sliver of barley that we have to go back and collect later. Because that's always the way it goes. I speak too soon, I muck it up, I have to go back and redo the work. But it's, uh, it is working out well. I'm, uh, I'm very, very happy with today's harvest. It is really hate. I can see why it's taken so long for the crop to dry today. It's, uh, it's been really, really hazy around uh, Shamrock Valley. And being in the bottom of the valley, unlike, un unlike Shamrock Farm at the top, um, Scatterbrook being at the bottom of the valley is, uh, yeah, we tend to stay a bit damper. We don't tend to get above the sea mist. Yeah, there we go. Exactly what I said. Small slither of barley left uh, lower down the field. I'll be all right. We're gonna we're gonna winrow this uh, this straw up and make it a little bit easier for us to bale. Especially uh, oh wow yeah, especially with round bales because that's. That is what we have on this farm, is round bales, which is always fun when uh, when we're dealing with slopes. It just takes a little bit of more care and attention to uh, to unload them, to, to get them so that they don't just disappear down into your uh, hedges at the bottom of your field. There we go. Right, we have... Filled up the combine. Ooh. So we'll head out and uh, go and empty it. I should have kept a closer eye, actually. Because now I've got to drive halfway across the field before I can empty. But we were fairly far up the field. As it, and to be honest, what I was uh, trying to do was just get the field finished. And hadn't been paying good enough attention to uh, to how full my combine is. At least I caught the fuel situation. And our trailer is looking very full at this point. Yeah, we are at 19,000 litres. I think we've probably got enough. Well, yeah, we're going to fill... We've got more left on this field than the trailer, which is pleasantly surprising, actually. I was absolutely expecting to not be able to fit this entire... or be able to fit this entire field into that trailer. I, of course, have started cutting um, at the wrong point. That's all right. If we keep this, uh, if we keep this right, then what I can do is uh, come back and get that patch... And then we'll go and get the bits at the bottom of the field. Get this patch. From this direction. Nice header full. Right, there we go. Head down here and get this sliver. And that... We'll cover the bottom part of this field rather nicely. And we will be in a... Uh, well, I think actually at 19, 19... I think 19,000 litres. So, uh, oh, we're going to be just over a trailer, aren't we? I think. We've not got a huge amount of crop left at the top of this field. Is the thing. Not a massive amount. It's not enough to fill this combine. It is enough to fill this trailer. And that is the problem. Well, that's all right. What I will do is uh, I'll probably go and empty. Because we have a, a pretty good access with our combine. Oh, to our uh, grain store. Uh, I'll probably take the combine down and empty it in the yard. We'll have to refill it before we uh, take it out again. And in actual fact, 
We don't want to... Um, we'll leave the, uh, the header on the header trailer. Um, but we don't want to be um, uh, leaving the combine up here, really. I need to figure out which of my uh, crops is, uh, is closest to being ripe next. So uh, we've got to be careful with that as well. Uh, but this is pretty good. Yeah, we've already got a 1,000 litres in the combine. I think we might have another half a tank off this. Which is great. I mean, don't get me wrong. I am not disappointed that we've got more barley in here than I expected us to have. That is, uh, that is not a bad thing by any stretch. I just got to be a little bit more creative on uh, on how I get it all back to the shed, which will be fine. I will deal with that once we have uh, got our crop harvested. I think a couple more rows, and this field will be done. And that will be our har that will be our barley harvested for this year. Um, good barley harvest, good amount that we've got. Uh, very very pleased. Uh, we have uh, we've had a good yield off this this year. And this should be a full width of our yeah. This is uh, so yeah. As I said, we're going to be we're going to have half a tank. We're going to have another two thousand liters off this field. Will that full fit in our trailer? We will find out in a moment because we've only got this little patch left to do. And that is it. So, thresher off. We'll head down the field with this. I'm going to put my auger out, make sure I stay well away from the trees and the hedge. And just pull it alongside. There we go. Will it do it? How much is this going to... Yeah, there we go. I've got to cut it off there. That is uh, That will be too much for our trailer. So we've got another thousand, just under a thousand litres in here uh, that we need to go and empty. So I'm going to go and plonk... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go and park the combine across the hillside in a position that uh, allows us to empty it a little bit. Actually, uh, yeah. We'll uh, leave it over here, I think. I have a feeling that our, uh, our canola is going to be next. Right. Handbrake on. And that off. Uh, there we go. So I will uh, get the barley down to the farm. Um, but uh, yeah, that is the barley done. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.